Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one. of November 16th, NASA successfully conducted the first test of its Artemis 1 space launch system. After many delays due to weather and technical issues, doubts were cast on the success of the mission. With a price tag of $4.1 billion for the launch alone, the failures have led some to question the purpose of it all. While skeptics raise some reasonable points, like NASA's absence of reusable launch technology, they overlook a large, more important argument. There is much more to the Artemis program than this one launch. In the grand scheme of things, this is all really important. Several groundbreaking aims and innovations are included in the Artemis program, making it a very ambitious endeavor. The space launch system is the first. It may appear like a Saturn V rocket used during the Apollo missions, but this spacecraft is far more advanced. More than 100 ton payloads may be launched into lunar orbit or beyond with this heavy lift mechanism. It will serve as the backbone of Artemis' ambitions for space infrastructure, which extend well beyond Earth's orbit. After the success of the Artemis program, the Orion spacecraft will be developed. Orion will be used for extended flights to the Moon, with crews up to six astronauts. The Lunar Gateway space station will come next. The Lunar Gateway will be a research center and a staging place for astronauts, as well as a kind of garage to store equipment intended for the Moon's surface. It will orbit the Moon once per week on a long, narrow trajectory that will swing in a halo from 1,500 kilometers to 70,000 kilometers from the surface. Artemis will employ the Starship's human landing mechanism to get to the surface. In this SpaceX mission, the magnificent Starship Large Capacity rocket will be used to transport people to and from the Moon. The most fascinating thing about the Artemis mission is its intended destinations for its astronauts. The goal is to build a permanent colony on the lunar south pole, where underground water is anticipated to exist in crater shadows. It's important to note that Artemis is a collaborative endeavor of governmental, corporate, and international sectors. Together, the space agencies of the United States, Japan, Europe, and Canada may work toward a common goal. One crucial piece of Artemis's moon base resupply infrastructure, the Hercules robot lander, will be constructed by the international community. As such, it's important to ask why. As a species, we have already visited the moon. Exactly why do we have to turn around? Artemis isn't simply a moon-based mythology, after all. Artemis will initiate the foundational processes required for interplanetary expansion. Even though humans haven't been beyond Earth's orbit in half a century, the moon and beyond still hold the key to our future destiny. We must master all the planet's terrains if we are to evolve into a spacefaring race. Those are the places where real possibilities may be found. Let's hope that we can make it through climate change unharmed, and that we have as much time left as mankind has existed, say, since the Roman Empire. To put it simply, what are we going to do? Where do we see ourselves going from here? The solar system is the only logical place to look. We want to colonize every available area in space, including Mars, the moons of gas giants, and floating homes. Given that it has always been our policy to grow, discover, and construct, we will continue in this direction by forming new communities and trying out different kinds of government. We may advance the causes of liberty, equality, and fairness, and the right to freely express oneself, and we will do it in ways that improve Earth's priceless ecosystem. Because once you're outside, you realize just how valuable our planet is. The Artemis program, with its massive rockets, circling space stations, and fixed moon outpost, is about a lot more than just the moon. Basically everything that happens after the moon is covered. It's about the next few hundred to several thousand years of human history. It's about our potential and what we need to aspire towards. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.